This video was filmed and edited by Geo Barlett Production. What's up everybody, this is Brian Briggs and welcome back to Iron Tiger Tattoos again. Today we're going to be doing a tattoo that's two out of three of my favorite styles. It's watercolor and it's a cover up. So I'm really intrigued with doing as many of these as I can this year. I really hope that you guys like it and if you do, please feel free to contact me so we can get started on yours. So I kind of like took your tattoo and put it on like a different body just to kind of like give myself an idea. Okay. The idea here is like going like a little more like realistic into the flower into like a little more abstract and then like the most abstract one like up top you know, and then have like this flowy background and add some of these little splatter effects and stuff like that. What do you think about something like that? I like it a it's lot. It's pretty cool? Yeah. Awesome. For the designing process, lately I've been sticking to the iPad Procreate app. Been really good, especially for cover-ups like this, just trying to plan out like something ahead of time and have a good idea together before that you know exactly what it's going to look like on the arm or the back or whatever it is that you're working on. Oh, I think that should be good. It always looks uh, smaller. I was going to say, it's hard to like look at something like that and imagine you're turning it the picture that you showed me. I know, right? It's always weird. Watch the process. It's a really cool process that you can see like as it goes, like how it turns into what yeah. it's gonna be. That's kind of what got me interested in tattoos, just watching my friends do them. Oh like, yeah. Just watching the process do like, it. It's just so that. cool. You read your back shaved? I have not. <laughs> I haven't had, had the need to, so right. it's full service, you know. Don't <laughs> charge any extra or anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna start with this area first and then we'll kind of work our way up. Nice little shock to the system. It is. <laughs> it's always like something I hated when I would be apprenticing. Uh, they would always have me shave the like big hairy ass dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like a, like a job in itself, you know? <laughs> Sitting there shaving some dude that you're using like three or four razors. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of this transfer gel onto you. That's gonna help me put that pattern on it. It might be a little cold as well. It's better to be a busy artist than a starving artist. That's true. I've been both. Yeah, <laughs> I'm... It's like you gotta be one to make it to be the other eventually, yep. you know? It's like it's the part of paying your dues part too. Yeah. Lately I've been obsessed with this modern abstract art and watercolor art. I really love to uh, use splashes of color and kind of chaotic line work to create tattoos that could be considered fine art if they were on a canvas. So it'll cover that. Yep. And it'll be like kind of the drips and stuff and mm -hmm. then the main focus will end up being on those, those flowers and stuff. So. Yep. I like it. We'll kind of use the background to do majority of that cover up, you know? Okay. It looks cool? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna let that dry on for a minute. Okay. All the ink in all of my tattoos, I always use Eternal Ink. It's the most trusted ink brand in my opinion. It always comes out the brightest when you're working with color tattoos like this. This is the best brand to use for anything like that. And I'm specifically using the Brian Sanchez watercolor set and uh, it's a little bit easier to blend and make really unique tones like you'll see in this tattoo. I'm using an FK Irons machine. It's a Zion rotary pen. And I've been having a lot of success with this tattoo machine. It's uh, really lightweight, easy to hold onto, uh, easy to maneuver, and really convenient with switching the tips of the needles. So I could use one machine to do multiple jobs with uh, just a few slight adjustments. Uh, it seems to work really good equally for black and gray tattoos and color tattoos too. It always sucks to like walk around with something you hate. You know? Yeah, for 15 years. That's why I like doing cover ups so much. It's always somebody like that too that's like waited a long time, just well, things happen just, in life. Yeah, yep. 
the cartridges that I'm using, if you're a tattoo artist and you're interested in the needles, they're just red dots. They're also a needle cartridge that's made by Eternal Ink. I pretty much just get all my supplies from them because it's a lot easier than ordering a little bit from here, a little bit from there. And they're just really quality supplies, so they all show up within a couple of days because they're in state here because I live in Michigan and they're out of Brighton and I'm in Mount Pleasant so uh, they show up within like two or three days so it's like a really big plus for me and then there's a lot of different stencil transfer gel products out there but I always stick to Electrum and I like the green kind they have a new one but it almost works too good the new one so if you want something to just stick like forever then you, that's the one you use it's been working really good for me and so why fix it if it's not broke right? Yeah, that's how most tattoos are. They have like those spots, you know, where, where you test your will. Yeah. <laughs> to say the least. This area of the world is known for its like realistic black and gray a lot. Oh, is it? Yeah, there's like some of the best guys in the world come from Detroit that do uh, figure it as you go with this style. Like I have like a, had a general idea as I went into it, but now doing it like with multiple colors and stuff going on, it's like a little easier than even with Sharpies or anything. Else. Right. opportunity comes your way and you have to like have your eyes open and your right your ears open and stuff like a lot of people would miss those opportunities because they're like so comfortable in like the space that they're in that they yeah. will just be like nah like uh, I'll just stay here and then they're like always wondering like what if I would have done that yeah you know? and that's like the worst feeling ever I think. it is because people don't regret what they do they regret what they didn't do I've been finding a lot of major influences from abstract artists on canvas that find you can take different ideas from those influences you can kind of incorporate them into uh, the tattoo art it becomes something completely different than what we've seen a lot of times what people do is they take the same ideas of other tattoos that are being done over and over and over again and they kind of regurgitate the same ideas and uh, sometimes it's easier to come up with more unique stuff for tattoos if we're drawing inspiration from other realms of art. Sometimes you could find inspiration in those like bad moments too though, like Picasso, you know, he had this, like his best friend died. Yeah. And he went into that whole era of just doing everything in blue and it became like the blue era or whatever. Yeah. You know? It was like so famous for it now, like all these paintings are like worth like millions of dollars and shit. And he found all that inspiration through something extremely sad, like the loss of a close friend. This project here was a cover-up tattoo, and there was a moon and a fairy, kind of old-school, traditional-ish kind of tattoo that was uh, there for about 15 years, I think she said. All she really asked for was some flowers, and she kind of gave me free reign. So uh, I wanted to do something special for her. And so my idea was to change the center back tattoo into a full spinal tattoo. So a lot of people that do this style are from Europe and South America and stuff. It's not as popular here. It's different and it doesn't look, it looks like fine art. It doesn't look like a tattoo. Either. Right. But it takes people being like kind of trusting like this too. Cause like when I put this on your back right now, like you can't tell what the <laughs> like, you know? That's true too. And, like you see a digital drawing, but that's it's still like kind of like oh, I hope you could do it. You know, right. it feels good to get that kind of trust from people, even to be able to kind of like do what I want to do in my right. brain and stuff. Have a vision and be able to complete it. My goal is to make it feminine and flowy, and I wanted it to kind of accentuate the female shape and not be too flat or um, it would be obvious that it was a cover-up. Another part of the vision on this one was I was looking to use these three flowers and go from like a somewhat realistic flower on the bottom to a more abstract one as they go up the spine. 
and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it is a great representation of the kind of style I've been envisioning for a while now. And I'm really lucky that people trust me to try these things and make something really unique like this for them. Did good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your body's like in shock now. <laughs> Feel alright or what? Yeah. Body's not too sore. Mm -mm. I mean, it's sore. It's raw. <laughs> And then I had to freehand a little bit down into there though and stuff and like bring it up a little bit more so just a little addition. That's kind of sweet. That's how I edit everything and then when I'm gonna do my uh, stencil it's just the lines right over it and then that's when you end up with something like that. And that's what we put on her. <laughs> So that was today's tattoo and I had a lot of fun. The girl was really easy to talk to so that made it really cool. That's always like the hardest part sometimes is just connecting with the person and um, I feel like when when we can and when everything kind of goes smoothly and we get along that the tattoo just comes out better too so that's always a really big plus for me. I'm really interested in doing as many watercolors that I could do and as much cover-ups as possible over the next few years. So if you're interested, then contact me. I'm also really interested in this uh, abstract, like modern art style. So um, I want to take that canvas style art and put it on the skin. So if that's like something that's really intriguing to you, then please just message me and we can book for May. I'm booking the second week of May and on right now. A little bit busy, a little bit of a wait, but it's totally worth it because uh, me and you are gonna work on a project that will be unlike anything anybody else will ever have. So I'm really excited to work with you. See you soon.